everybody. Today is Sunday, November 24th. It's 10.05 a.m. I got an offer from Uber Eats to go to New York Pizza and Bagel. I'm going to get $11.23 for 2.6 miles. It has been super slow this morning. This was the first offer that came in that was acceptable. And I've been online since 8.45 a.m. So it has been an hour and 15 minutes of waiting for something good to come in. So it doesn't look like today is going to be a very uh, productive day when it comes to hitting the goal of $50, unfortunately. So I'm just going to go ahead and just keep on working uh, today until we hit uh, two o'clock and then I'm gonna stop so whatever money we make by two o'clock is whatever money we make and uh, I'm a little bit concerned that this particular delivery is going to be bogus because New York Pizza and Bagel is known for having problems with their Uber Eats delivery system <laughs> And about 50% of the time I go there, they tell me their system's down and the order can't be fulfilled. And so this one, based on how low the miles are, tells me this order is probably just being passed off to delivery drivers. So I'm going to be, I'm going to probably be just the next sucker in line to drive all the way over here only to find out that the order is um, not able to be fulfilled so <laughs> that's the unfortunate possibility of this delivery so uh, <laughs> let's all find out together what's going to happen when I arrive at New York Bagel I'm gonna make a left here to avoid the majority of cars I think this is the smarter move to make and let's see, I can see the bagel place up ahead. I'm gonna try to park here where there's less traffic to worry about. And then I'll walk on over to, bag to New York Bagel and see what they got. All right, let's go and see what happens. unusual pickup the, the uh, system asked me to scan a QR code on the order and there was no QR code on the order it's just two bags so there was nothing to scan so I said cannot scan and uh, said okay well then never mind <laughs> I don't know what was going on with that but uh, yeah, so that was something I had never seen before. Another new uh, scenario. So I went in there and there was a couple of people inside of the uh, restaurant. There was a, a man with a bay or with a, with a toddler. And then there was another guy who was picking up his order who appeared to be a delivery driver. But I was not 100% certain whether or not he was a delivery driver. But he appeared to be. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> and then, um, I think I'm going the long way to get to this place, but whatever, I'm just following what it says. And, um, yeah, so the order was ready. It was an actual order and their system was working. So I was very happy. And now I just got to go 0.9 more miles, three minute drive to a house and it's a leave at the door. So it was a legitimate one. So we're, we're good, we're aces at the moment. And I'm gonna be making a right here and I gotta be careful because the cars here drive like lunatics. So I think I can go. <laughs> nobody was moving. It's like nobody was moving. I don't know why, that intersection is so crazy. 
and I'll be making a right at the, at the next light and um, yeah this is a good one I'm very happy to hear that uh, this is gonna be a successful uh, delivery now that I've got food in hand and uh, it's just a real short drive I'm real thrilled about this taking this opportunity there were a lot of opportunities that came in before this one earlier that were so borderline worth accepting one of them was like $12 to go drive over near Dean Martin Drive which is near the strip and I declined it and it was two dollars for every mile but I don't trust that area so when this one came in I was real happy I was like wow for such a short amount of miles if that food actually is available and I can actually pick it up this is gonna be a super easy delivery making a left here and then a quick right and uh, let's see how far down do I have to go it's gonna be all the way down to the end on the right and uh, yes yeah, it's gonna be a, a, a super down and dirty one to make that much money I'm really surprised I'm sure a lot of other drivers didn't want to accept it they probably thought it was a scam as well okay it's gonna be on the right hand side uh, which house is it is it this one it is it's this one right here Okay, let's do this. done I just gotta turn around here safely turn around and uh, unpause my DoorDash next Let's see, DoorDash DoorDash where are you resume DoorDash boy that was fast okay there's no internet here of course uh, four dollars and two cents six miles no of course there's no internet of course of course I can't unpause my dash now I can there it goes I just had my Wi-Fi on so it was blocking the internet yeah that was fantastic so so easy I hope I hope I get some big orders today because I'm so far behind to uh, achieve $50 by two o'clock, I got 11, 12, I got four hours. <laughs> four hours to make about 40 more dollars approximately. <laughs> and um, you would think that would be possible because that would come out to $10 an hour. But unfortunately, because it's so slow, I could spend the next hour to two hours just sitting at home watching Netflix and nothing coming in. So that's the bad part about this job is that you can create a window of, oper of where you can accept opportunities, but it doesn't mean you're going to get those opportunities. It just means you have the uh, you have a window open where where money making opportunities can fall into your lap. But you know if there's no if there are no rain clouds, you ain't going to get no rain. So. <laughs> It is a um, it is a uh, impossible thing to predict. Four dollars, two point five miles. No, it's impossible to predict when the right opportunity is going to come. Just like for fishing, six dollars and forty-seven cents, three point four miles. No, <laughs> and yeah, I'm just sticking to my criteria. Two dollars for every mile. Sip four dollars and two cents, six point four miles. No. Time is 11.30 a.m. and I got another offer from Uber Eats. I'm going to be going to Carl's Jr. I'm going to get 
$8.27 for 4.1 miles. Man, is it slow. This is only my second delivery. And uh, <laughs> I can't believe how many hours it's been. It seems like I've just been just uh, permanently situated at home all this time just waiting for something to come in so uh <laughs> not so great i don't think this video is going to be very long i don't think there's going to be much to show because there's nothing good coming in and this offer uh along with the other one will take me up to about well let's see eight plus um Plus, uh, I got 13 and 8, so what is that, 21, so I think I'm going to be at $21 is where I'm going to be, so yeah, <laughs> yup, $21, let's see, do I turn here, no, I think it's one more to go, one more to go, and then we'll be there, yeah, not very much money at all, very disappointing, is it here I turn? Yeah, this is it. <laughs> this is where I turn. And I'm gonna just go ahead and go inside of uh, Carl's Jr. because I've, yeah, there's cars in the parking lot. So that tells me I should be good to uh, go. I don't know what this lady's doing. <laughs> I'm like, uh, you were there about the same time as me, yet nope, none of us seem to know the rules of the road about who should go first. That is always the way. And I'm going to turn here because there's a lady walking here real slow. Oh, she's got her husband with her. All right, let's park here and then we'll head on in. Uh, interesting I uh, followed in that elderly couple in front of me and just as you would suspect the elderly couple you know took quite a bit of time to um, <laughs> to place their order and so I was concerned that it was going to take a great deal of time for me to be helped to get my order so I was, um, yeah, I was like, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. So I turned a DoorDash back on and was waiting for a better offer to come in when, when one of the uh, other employees showed up to help me. And they, um, they said, oh, are you, they, are you here to, to pick up? I said, yeah, and I told them the name of the person. And then they... Um, they put the order together, the food portion of the order together, got it all sealed up in the bag really, really fast. I'm like, wow, this is great. I'm going to be out of here real quick. He puts it on the counter and I grab it. I go, oh, thanks. And he says, well, he says, he's like, well, hold on. I got to, I got to get your drinks. <laughs> so then he proceeded to make a shake and a, and a Coke. And, and, uh, I was like, why did he hand me the food <laughs> I was really confused because the drinks the drinks to make the drinks was took a long time and I'm like well why didn't he why didn't he just prepare the bag and just leave it you know um, you know near the warming station until he had the drinks ready it was really weird normally what they do is they prepare everything before they hand me anything because you know they don't want the driver to disappear but for whatever reason he handed me the food as if it was like an anchor like it was like that was his way to make sure i didn't leave and so um yeah so i was like whatever <laughs> and then i had to hear um the elderly couple placing their order uh for their for their food while i waited for him to make the drinks and it was very comical because you know uh uh 
people who are very elderly, they, they move at a completely different pace. So even though the employees were talking like 100 miles an hour to the elderly couple, they were responding back like at five miles an hour. So very slow communication, like, you know, very leisurely. And then they were like, they were like, you know what I mean? They were going real fast in response to them. So it was just comical to see these two polar opposite types of people communicating. And it was like, these people were from another era. And so <laughs> just the whole, the whole aura of these people were like, they traveled in a time machine to this, to this time period to order something from Carl's Jr. So it was very, it was a very interesting object thing to, to watch happen. And, um, the wife, because it was food, you know, the wife had to take charge of the situation, not the man, you know, because they're from the old, they're, they're old school. So the husband, you know, stayed very stoic while the wife communicated to the, <laughs> to the cashier what they wanted to order. And then they would have questions about things because they were looking for a deal and they were shot. They, the lady was shocked that she could get any size drink for a dollar. She's like, what? For a dollar only? I can get any size drink? <laughs> it was very comical. <laughs> it just made me laugh. Because I'm like, you know, it's like if you, if you, um, you know, if you do, if you're a, a younger person or if you deal with the fast food world every day, like, like, a, like I do as a delivery driver, like all this stuff is common knowledge. So, to have somebody in a in a fast food restaurant and be surprised at certain things like any size drink for a dollar and be surprised by it just was it was comical to me so <laughs> it just gave me a laugh so anyway that was it we still got three more minutes to go it's 1.3 miles uh, we're going to a house it's a leave at the door and I have a gate code and uh, yeah, so far so good. The The sun has disappeared. The temperature currently is 65 degrees. It's a little breezy, but not breezy, but not windy. I have seven miles on the car and I'm getting 53 miles to the gallon. And I don't know what's going to happen today, guys. I have no clue. For all I know, this could be the last delivery. And you'll see, you know, all the numbers of the totals of what we made today. And that'll be the end of it. And then, oh, I have something new that happened. Another one of my crowns fell off on my teeth. I was so mad. Yeah, it, it popped off. I was flossing my teeth this morning and it popped off. And I was like, oh, great. Of course, the dentist is closed today. And I think they're closed tomorrow, too. And because it's the Thanksgiving holiday... I have no idea what their hours are going to be of availability uh, this coming week. So I had some um, adhesive material for crowns that I keep in stock for emergencies called uh, Den Temp, and it's it's this kind of putty that you put inside of the um, <laughs> inside of the the crown. And uh, then you just stick the crown back on. I actually had to watch a YouTube video since I had never done it before. So I watched the YouTube video. I did a search. I typed in uh, how to use den temp for crowns. And then the video came up. And it was super simple. It wasn't hard to do. But um, now I just feel paranoid about my crown still popping off even though I put that stuff on it. But... And even when I talk, I can kind of feel like maybe it's loose or moving around. So it's got me a little bit nervous. Because, you know, if you lose a crown, it's going to cost you thousands of dollars to replace it. <laughs> and I don't want that to happen. I don't want to lose no money. All right, we're here. Let me enter the code. All right, we're good. And... Yeah. Moving on forward here, I'm going to be making a left turn. Hopefully this is going to be super simple and no problems. 
I'm gonna go this away and then a right turn here. And then it's supposed to be on the right hand side. Let's see if they're correct. Um, about three more houses down. It should be this house or the next one. It is this one. We made it. Let's do it. Okay, all done. I just gotta turn the car around and go back the other way from where we came. $9.54 for 11 miles, no. Yeah, every time I talk, I can feel my crown. I feel like, it's, uh, I mean, it's not really strong. I just feel this subtle sensation that the crown is jiggling. <laughs> uh, $8.56, 9.4 miles, no. So now I'm trying to like bite, bite down, I'm trying to clench my teeth and then kind of hold it in place as long as I can while I'm still trying to talk. So that way the adhesive will re-adhere because I have a sensation like the, two, like the, the crown is shifting when I'm talking. <laughs> it said not to eat or drink for two hours and I withheld from eating and drinking for an hour and 50 minutes so I thought maybe that would be enough but maybe it wasn't I guess when I floss tonight it'll probably pop off and I'll reapply some more adhesive no I'm not doing that one five dollars for 2.3 miles no it's got to be at least six dollars and fifty cents I don't care oh boy don't block don't block me five dollars and fifty three cents we don't care Same one coming in. We don't care. We don't care. Go away. Oh boy. Yeah, two dollars, three point six miles. No, go away. Yep. So far, all the all the offers that are good have been coming in from uh, Uber Eats. So nothing really so far from DoorDash today, which is really weird because yesterday almost every single offer was um, DoorDash. So I guess. Uber Eats must be having a special. Eleven dollars and fifty cents, fifteen miles. No, they must be having a special. They do that sometimes to get because you know they all the customers do the same thing. They compare which app is cheaper, and whoever is the cheapest, that's the one they use. And also, the, you know, they're always sending out emails to the customers to let them know, you know, they have a so a big discount. It's like sixty percent off when you order from this particular restaurant or whatever. That's how they they um, they get cut customers to come back and keep using the app because, um, yeah, that's really the only thing they can do because if they don't offer any specials, people start to feel like they should just go and get it themselves. And uh, a lot of them, what happens is if they, they figure if they do enough specials after a while, the customers just get addicted to the service. And they'll just keep using it. So they have their marketing methods to ensure um, success <laughs> in getting business. And uh, yeah, so far um, today looks like a dud. This is going to be a dud of a day. Just some real simple things. I'll be shocked if anything else comes in that's, that's significant or interesting. Because um, I think it has to do with the fact that this is the weekend before Thanksgiving. People are trying to, you know, watch what they're eating because they know the um, the gluttony of Thanksgiving is about to occur. And we all know what happens when Thanksgiving comes. In fact, we all know what happens the days just before Thanksgiving. You know how at the office they have tons and tons of free food. And <laughs> you know what happens. There's all these pre-parties where you have to go meet your friends and pig out. 
So there's this whole gluttony period that's going to happen between now and New Year's. And it always begins the week of Thanksgiving. So this is the this is the calm before the storm. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised how quiet it is right now. That this is this is just that period. And then the other factor that's causing it is uh, last night I believe was the big Formula One race on, on in on the Strip in Las Vegas, and uh, that that was, I'm sure people were up all night. Four dollars and five cents for eight miles. No, I'm sure everybody was up all last night um, working, either working it, working that event. Three dollars fifty-four cents, ten miles, because you know it's a major revenue ger generator. So the locals here were, were either working it or there were people here that were actually attending the event. So yeah, that's probably what it is. And everybody's tired and out of money. They spent it all on the strip. So everybody's just in that mode where they're just trying to watch their money and there's just not a lot of activity. Very little app delivery activity. So that's that's the those are my um suspicions on why it's so slow today. Which is fine. I'm I'm good. I don't care. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself at home. I'm watching Lost. Eight dollars fifty eight cents, nine point three miles, no. Yeah, I'm already, I'm at the second to last season. I'm almost done with this season. I won't give away anything since you may not have ever seen it. But uh, it's, this is, this is, uh, it, this is the part where you really have to pay attention. It's like the, the beginning of that show is just kind of like, what is going on? And then the end is where you really got to look and pay attention to figure out. They're trying to tell you what it's all about. $8.16, 5.7 miles, no. The time is uh, 11.59 a.m. And I got an offer from Uber Eats to go to Bonds and pick up a couple of people's groceries. So two different customers. I'm going to get $13.04 for 6.4 miles. Well, uh, yeah, this one came in pretty quick. I wasn't at home hardly at all, and um, I just don't know how many groceries I'm going to be delivering, and if whether or not I'm going to be delivering to Anthem Country Club, which you know is a uh, not the easiest place to deliver to. I really am not quite certain <laughs> where these groceries are going to be dropped off. And then the biggest question is how much, how many groceries am I delivering? You know, you can never really tell. There's no way to 100% know for sure uh, what you're getting yourself into when you um, when you go to a grocery pickup. The app doesn't really give you a sense of the the girth, the girth of the delivery. It's just show up with. I have to show up at the at the pickup with two shopping carts and then the uh, the uh, employee of Vons takes the carts away from me and behind the magic door comes all the groceries and at that moment you see whether you lucked out or you have been set up for failure <laughs> for disaster so yeah <laughs> that's the that's the fun and exciting part about um, doing a grocery pickup order is that exciting moment when you see you have four cases of water and um, 18 bags of groceries and the cart is filled all the way to the top and the bottom shelf is filled up <laughs> Man, that is the worst I hate when I get those and then you gotta deliver to an apartment on the third floor <laughs> And it's all stairs. There's no way to get your car close enough. <laughs> Man, sometimes you get some real dillies. Now, hopefully this isn't a dilly. This is supposed to be a nice, boring day. Because it's Sunday and it's slow. So I'm hoping that it's not going to be crazy. When I first saw the offer, I thought it was going to be one pickup grocery order or a shopping order. And then it was going to be, you know, stopping at, you know, a restaurant somewhere or a coffee place. But nope. It is picking up from the same place, two different orders, and it doesn't tell you anything. It just says, 
Oh wait, hold on a minute. I think these are shopping offers. I see here it says pick up four high sea orange lava burst fruit drinks. And then the other one is, oh, these, these are not grocery pickups. I'm shopping for each customer. It's a it's a double shopping event. Oh good. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Come on guy, just get over. Get your stupid luxury sports car over so I can keep going. Ooh, the sun's coming back out. No, of course he's making a right turn. Of course he is. <laughs> oh, hurry up and turn. I mean, you can turn faster than that in that fast car. Jesus. It's like, come on and go. It's like, I got all day to wait for you. And, um, yeah, I think this is going to be fine. I was I was worried that they were, I was going to have to bring in the two shopping carts. But now I just got to shop for these customers and it's hardly anything. The, both both of the orders are um, not, uh, not uh, they're not big orders, they're small. So that's good news. And where I'm dropping off, that's the question mark, I don't know. I'm going to be making a left coming up here at the next live. And uh, so far we've been doing good on time as far as we've been hitting a lot of green lights. So we're doing real good in that regard. Um, this is like our, I think this is like our first red light since we've been, since we've been going. And um, I don't know how crowded the market's going to be. That I don't know. <laughs> that part I don't know. I mean, it is the weekend before Thanksgiving. I'm sure there's a lot of people in there buying their turkeys and fighting over cranberry sauce and oh lord <laughs> so i i actually this morning at about 6 a.m i went to the market for my own for my own uh uh shopping and i picked up a uh a turkey i got a uh, a frozen 13 pound turkey for 69 cents a pound I only paid like nine dollars for the for my turkey. I couldn't believe it. Like the original price was like twenty something dollars, but they were having a special. And uh, first, I went to Walmart and saw that Walmart was charging you know a lot of money, and they were having no special sale. And then I went onto the, another app and I saw this special, and I said, well. When I have time, I'm going to go to this particular market and go get it. And sure enough, they still had plenty of them. I was so stoked. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I love getting a good deal. Now, whether or not it's going to taste good or not, I don't know. <laughs> I'll just season it the way I always season it and bake it the way I always bake it. And uh, my secret to baking uh, my turkeys is to always use a bag. Always ba always bake your your chicken using a Reynolds a Reynolds wrap uh, bag. It never fails. <laughs> it always comes out juicy. So that's my only tip I have for you. And then prepare it any way you want. Oh, it's crowded. I'm just going to park right here and start walking. That was easy. No problems. Easy uh, shopping experience. I'm just pausing and unpausing my dash and repausing it so that that way I'm ready to go. And I don't know if I can go straight ahead in here and this lady next to me, come on girl, just move. Do whatever you gotta do but get out of my way. 
do what you got to do to go. Oh man, she she messed me up. She messed me up. Now I gotta do another maneuver. It's like lady, really? And this giant truck here double park causing me nothing but misery. <laughs> I'm like, get out of my way, people. I just want to get on the road and get this done. I'm not asking for a miracle. I'm just asking for you to get out of my way. <laughs> Thanksgiving. It was crowded in there. There were a lot of people, but I timed it right. I just lucked out. Whenever, as soon as I was able to, um, as soon as I was able to um, get all the groceries and head to the South Checkout, the um, there wasn't a long line anymore at the South Checkout, and there was one spot available to, to use the checkout machine, and I used it. And uh, it went lickety split. There were no problems getting out of there, thank goodness. And now I'm going six minutes from here, 2.2 miles. Going to a house, it's a leave at the door, and I have a gate code. Hooray, hooray. So which one am I dropping off? Which order is it? Oh, it's the... It's the, it's all the ones with the um, juice boxes. They ordered four boxes of juice. So yeah, and that's all they ordered. They must have um, kids in school or something, or they run a daycare center. Who knows? <laughs> For whatever reason, they needed a lot of juices, so they got them, and that's all they wanted. They didn't want nothing else but but um but those boxes of juice and the other person ordered a bunch of stuff like breakfast stuff like pancake mix and um, pancake syrup and all that stuff and uh, I made sure to separate the two orders both in the shopping cart as well as in my car so the juice boxes our first delivery is in the back seat of my car and the other customer's order is in the trunk and you always want to make sure you do that because it's so easy to make a mistake <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've made a mistake so many times and it was a disaster I think I can go if I gun it if you gun it you can go and I gunned it and now we've got about another 1.7 miles till we arrive at the destination. It's telling me that I'm going to have to make a U-turn at some point. And it is correct. I do have to make a U-turn. It's going to be after I cross Eastern. It appears it's Eastern I've got to cross. No. Wait a minute. What do I have to cross? Just I just have to cross over at um, Sunridge Heights. I'm surprised there's not a left turn lane there, but I guess because it's where the high school is, they try to avoid those kind of situations, so <laughs> we'll see. And um, I've been to this community before, and sometimes I have problems with the gate, the gate not working, so we shall see what kind of trouble I encounter. So it's this community across the street on the left-hand side. And, uh, yeah, I have to make a U-turn, I see. There's a concrete divider, but there's not a lot of traffic, so I should be able to do this tricky maneuver, no problem. I just have to um, let this person go by with the handicap placard. <laughs> Turn it around, make a right, and hit the code box up. Let's see, what code did they say? Okay. Let's do the code. The code worked. Code worked. And now I'm going to make a left and then a right. I wonder if they ever use that gazebo. I bet you they don't. I bet you that gazebo is just for decoration. I'm sure nobody ever even sits there. It's going to be real quick. Um, it looks like it's going to be on the left-hand side. 
Uh-huh, which one are you? Oh, it's this one right here? Okay, so I'm going to have to turn it around. Turn this car around. And it is a leave at the door, so it should be simple. I'll throw my hazards on so this guy in front of me doesn't think I'm trying to, like, chase him down. All right, here we go. Here's one. Thank you. Yep. And one more. Oh, there you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good one. Thank you. Hand it off to the customer. No problems, real easy. Good boy, next one is gonna require a pin and it is a, it looks like it's a house or an apartment. What the heck does this say? Apartment number, oh, it's an apartment. It's an apartment, unfortunately. Once through the gate, make a left, go through the stop sign, make a right, building number this, apartment number this. If the gate is closed, please call and I will meet you. You will meet me, huh? Okay. If the gate is closed, you will meet me. That's nice. <laughs> I'm happy to hear it. And I hope I don't have any problems. I hope. As I recall, this particular community that I'm going to, during the daytime, the gate is open. So I doubt I'll need the gate code. And uh, yeah, it's just one of these rinky dink apartments over near the hospital. So, St. Rose Hospital. So, it doesn't seem like this is going to be a big deal. I don't think. I hope not, anyway. I'm going to be making a ride just after this um, merging construction sign. Uh, yep, right here. And uh, it's going to leave us in a, in a hot spot zone. So um, hopefully the uh, hot spot zone won't let me down. And we will be in business for another delivery. I hope. Otherwise, it's back to watching Lost on Netflix. <laughs> I'm watching. I'm enjoying that new show um, with Ted Danson from from um, The Good Place. I can't. I keep forgetting the name of it. It's called a a something a stand. Oh, I cannot remember. Anyway, he's uh, he plays somebody that's undercover in a retirement home. It's funny, that's good writing, and it has a lot of actors in it from the past that I recognize, but they're really old now. One of them is uh, Sally Struthers, $4.12, 5.8 miles, no. You know, have you ever, did you ever watch um, All in the Family? You know, Archie Bunker's daughter, she plays a character in the nursing home, or in the retirement home, uh, and uh, she's real good, and I haven't seen her in a long time. I think the last time I saw her, she was really heavy set, and she was she was on one of those charity things, you know, save the children or feed the children. That was the last time I remember seeing her. So it's been a long time since I had actually seen her. She looked just fine. She looks looks like she's healthy, which I'm really glad to see. And it's it's a really good, well written comedy. So, but it maybe I think it's maybe I think it's more so for my my age. Like if you're in, in your 50s, you'll like it because of the nostalgia of it. Of seeing all these faces of people from your um, childhood or from your younger years. Okay, I'm gonna be making a ride up ahead into this complex, and they they did put a marker on where their their um, apartment is, 
and the gate should be open. It's usually open. Yeah, it's open. So once through the gate, make a left. Okay, I'm gonna go through the gate. Here we go. Speed bump. I'm going to speed bump. I'm gonna make a left. I'm gonna go past the stop sign. Now what? Go past the stop sign. Go through the stop sign. Make a right building. Okay, on the left. Okay, that sounds pretty simple, folks. Let's do that. I'm gonna make a right. Yeah, there it is. There's the building. Now I just have to find a place to park that makes sense. Oh, somebody's coming in. $6. I want to park over here because I don't want to take somebody's spot. $6, 3.9 miles. No. I want to park over here where I'm allowed to park. Because I have a feeling more people are coming and going because it's Sunday. And I, don't want to, I don't want anybody yelling at me. All right, I'll be back. happened to go to the right side of the building once again my strategy of going clockwise around the building no matter what <laughs> seems to be working in my favor so far I'm on the right side of statistics uh, uh, the last few deliveries I've been able to find the door my instinct told me go right and I said no don't listen to your instincts. <laughs> Go clockwise. Start on the left and work your way around the building. And do it every time, no matter what. Even, even though the other side of the building was closer to me, I said no. <laughs> and, the, and my uh, strategy paid off. I didn't have to walk all the way around the building. And the other bonus was uh, the apartment was on the first floor, so I didn't have to climb any stairs. So that was really good. $4.05, 5.7 miles now. So that was great news. I was very happy to um, have that delivered <laughs> with as little pain as possible. And it's put me back in the zone. Over on the left is St. Rose Hospital. And um, there's lots of restaurants over here. Four dollars, four cents, 2.4 miles. No, it's 12.30 p.m., 65 degrees. I have 16 miles on the car and getting 56 miles to the gallon. And we're somewhere in the 30s for money right now. 30-ish. We're making 30-ish dollars. I don't know where in the 30s. But somewhere in that range. Probably 33 or 34 dollars is my, is my best guess at the moment. And now I'm just turning right here. And uh, I'm going to head on down. $5.11 for one mile. No. I don't care if it was zero miles. If you're not paying me $6.50... I don't want it. Ten, Nine dollars and a penny for 11 miles. No. Something coming in from uh, DoorDash. Three dollars and fifty cents. Two point nine miles. No. Yup. You gotta pay. You gotta pay, or, or there's no play. No. No pay. No play. <laughs> no funny. No money. No funny. So we are doing just fine. It's 12.34, 1.34. We have an hour and a half approximately, an hour and 26 minutes before the day is over. And then whatever money we make, we make. But um, I'm just happy I'm actually in the 30s. That's good news considering how late I got to start. So that's pretty darn good to be in the 30s. I'll take it. It's better than zero. Three dollars four cents, nine point three miles. Garbage, garbage. Go away. Make a left here. 
four dollars nine cents 4.6 miles garbage 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 everywhere I go $16 for 11.5 miles no 945 for 20 miles no garbage garbage Uber is definitely busy today. Five dollars twenty-four cents, four point six miles. No, really busy today for um, Uber Eats. Not so much for DoorDash. Nine dollars forty-eight cents, three point. Oh, that's good. I'll take that one. I just have to get in my far right-hand lane, which I'll never make. But I'll have to make a U-turn and come come about. Okay, let me tell you about this one. Hold on, let me pause my DoorDash. All right, everybody, I got an offer from Uber Eats. I'm gonna be going to Munchbox. I'm gonna be getting $9.48 for 3.8 miles. Oh boy, how am I gonna get over there to the far right in time? Oh, how, how is this gonna happen? How, oh, I did it, somehow I did it. Somehow I made it happen, I got over. It's not exactly the closest turn in, but this'll do. It's better than making a U-turn. All right, let's get down this way. I'm gonna make a left turn. And I'm sure it's gonna be busy here, because it always is, because it's Sunday, and it's shopping Sunday, and everybody's out right now getting their groceries. Take a right here. And Munchbox will be coming up on the right hand side after this stop sign. Real close pickup, which is really good. And um, I think there might be a parking spot right here, which was really nice. Whoa, there's a car coming. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Parked it. Oh, we lucked out. <laughs> Got the food. Oh, I gotta take my jacket off. It is hot. Man, the sun is getting strong. Jeez. Well, gang, unfortunately, this drop off. This, <laughs> this drop off is not gonna be fun. Even though it's not far, it is not gonna be fun. Can you guess where I'm going? If you watch my videos, take a guess. What place do I like the least to go to? Because it takes so long to drop off the food. Did you guess Anthem Country Club? If you guessed Anthem Country Club, you are 100% right. That's where we're going. 3.7 miles, 13 minute drive. It's a leave at the door. <laughs> it's a leave at the door. It's gonna be a pain in the behind to drop this off. But what can you do? <laughs> Nothing you can do. You know, we gotta get that money. We gotta get it. It was a fair offer. You know, yes, it takes a while to get into Anthem Country Club, but what choice do we have? You know what I'm saying? There's no choice. You gotta do what you gotta do. And um, this is gonna take me into the uh, 40s. So after this, there will only be one more delivery to make. And it's not even one o'clock yet, so there's a high probability of success of reaching the $50 goal. Which I have to say is nothing is nothing to shake a stick at, as they say. That is not too shabby considering how much time I have spent twiddling my fingers, or twiddling my thumbs as the saying goes. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna hit the goal of $50, which is okay by me. Come on, white car, hurry up and go. I wanna make my U-turn and get this party started. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. 
So next up is the famous uh, guard gate at Anthem Country Club where there's always a high probability. Why is this guy going so slow? Jeez, so he's going 40 miles an hour in a 45 mile an hour. I guess he's, he's lost. It's like, are you lost? Yep, they're lost. <laughs> they suddenly made a turn. Yeah, I don't know how long it's gonna take to get in. This is the prime time when people love to go visit their friends and family at Anthem Country Club. They have all their, their friends and family who aren't as rich as they are. Come see how beautiful and rich they are. <laughs> they said, come on down, friends and family. Come and take a look at how beautiful our home is and how beautiful our um, community is here at Anthem Country Club. You know you wish you could afford to live here, but you can't. So all you can do is come, all you can do is come here for lunch. So come on down. Come on down for a Sunday lunch. Yeah, that's pretty much the gist. And then the line's going to be real long. I don't think there are any landscapers working today. It's Sunday. Most landscapers don't work on Sundays. So there shouldn't be any of those issues getting inside. So we should be okay in that regards. But, um just visitors in general it's probably gonna be packed so I'm just gonna do my the best I can to get inside of this um, community and once we get inside it's gonna be a long drive inside so enjoy looking at all the trees and the houses and because we're gonna be driving for a while I think we're gonna be driving probably for at least a mile a mile a mile and a half inside of Anthem Country Club at a speed of 25 miles an hour. Oh, it's so slow. And it's a single lane and no passing is allowed. <laughs> it is so painful. I mean, to watch it on the video is fun. I'm sure you guys enjoy that. What is this guy doing being parallel to me? I hate when people drive parallel to me. It gets on my nerves. I don't know why people do that. Maybe they're checking out my car. They're like, oh, that's a, I want to get one of those cars. They hear they're real good on gas. <laughs> they're real economical. Let me pull up next to what the interior looks like. Let me violate this person's personal space by staring into their car. <laughs> so, I can, so I can do a little shopping of a stranger's car while I'm pulled up next to it. <laughs> people are so weird. Oh boy, and um, everything's good. The temperature currently says 67 degrees, but in the car it feels much warmer than 67. I've got 18 and a half miles on the car, I'm getting 53 miles to the gallon, and yeah, everything's fine. We're moving along, we're getting it done. This person didn't order hardly anything, it's light as air, so sure it's just like a sandwich or something but it's really light there's nothing there's nothing much to this order it's a it's a chicken cheese steak sandwich no mushrooms and no provolone and that is all no drink no sides so the bag feels as light as air like there's nothing in there and um yeah that's about all nothing else happened at the moment just trying to get to this. Uh, I have a little bit of um, trepidation. <laughs> I have a little bit of trepidation about going into Anthem Country Club because how long is it going to take? I mean, I, I always just like cruising along. That's just why I do this job because I love just cruising in the car. But when I'm stuck in traffic, it's, it's the last place I want to be. It's no fun. It's no fun unless the car is in motion. To be stuck is no fun. And I like to look at all the scenery going by. It's very relaxing. I mean, that you guys enjoy that, I'm sure, watching my videos. That's why I added that element to the videos where you guys could see the road while I'm driving. Because it's very relaxing. It's like you're actually going on a road trip. And uh, oh, I want to say, if you watch my videos, and you can, if you can, try to watch them on a, on a big screen TV. It's actually more... Uh, more relaxing that way than just watching it on, on a mobile device because it's all about the scenery oh there's hardly anybody here good news I only see one car right now 
And then, of course, there's one car in front of me, and that's going to be it. Oh, wait, there's two cars. There's two cars over there at the, ga at the gate, so it's not busy. We're, we lucked out. I guess none of the friends and family are going to be here until Thanksgiving. So they've, they've gotten a reprieve from coming to visit their uh, rich relatives. All right, the light has turned green. We are in motion. Let's follow this white vehicle into the community. Now there's three cars in front of us. Nobody has moved yet. Oh, that, there's a silver car in the front that's taking forever. <laughs> Obviously, whoever they've come to visit, they don't want them to visit. They're, say, they're not saying, don't answer the phone. We're not home. We don't want them coming in here. They do that all the time here. They have, that, they have the prerogative to turn away whoever may be coming to visit them. That's one of the perks about living in a guard-gated community. You could actually just ignore the, the, the message that someone's coming to visit you and they can't come in. They actually will tell them, don't come in. Oh, I'm almost next. It's a new guard. I've never seen this guard before. He's new. He's real friendly. But I don't recognize him at all. Come on, everybody. I'm ready to go over there. This The guy in the white car in front of me, he's never been here either. Cause he didn't seem to know how the, pro the, the process on getting in. The guard had to ask him twice. So. We'll see. We'll see if we get to... I'm going to roll my window up. Oh, no. Somebody at least said, oh, there's a lady in the... Oh, it's, a, it's like a uh, like an Uber. It's the lady in the back seat. Only oh, socializing with her. Would you just hurry? Oh my God! Just oh please! Oh, he's having a conversation. Like like we have all the time in the world. People are so inconsiderate. Let me tell you, that's this town. Look at they're having a full on just just friendly chit chat while the rest of us wait. Man, people have a lot of nerve. I feel like just ramming into this car. <laughs> Look at and what. And what, what could she possibly... She got the pass. She's clear to go. Now, what what could she possibly be talking about? What could this passenger in the back seat who thinks she owns this community... What do you think she's talking... Look, he's saying, look, you have to go. I got it. I'll talk to you later. Hello. Uh, it's Uber Eats. Have a good one. Thank you, too. We almost made it to it because it's 34 pixels. Okay, I'm, I made it through, no problem. He was definitely new. He didn't know the ropes. I could I could smell a newbie from a mile away. And he reeked. I'm gonna make a right turn here and then here we go. We're gonna make our way um, through the community. One mile to go until I make a right turn. 1.2 miles total. Estimated time, three minute drive. So we're off. at least I'm in. At least I'm in. And the guy behind me I think is a visitor because he's practically riding my ass tailgating me like I need to go faster <laughs> I'm like why don't you pass me if you're so crooked why don't you just blow past my ass if you're in such a damn hurry <laughs> I'm like I'm gonna go the speed limit girl I don't know what's wrong with you you better just recognize that you're an anthem country club and you can't speed people are so weird oh, I don't know what to tell you People just have no no courtesy to anybody else. It's all about me, 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 me. That's everyone. That's everybody on the road. And I'm sure they're like cussing under their breath. Why is this guy going so slow? I don't care if the speed limit is 25 miles an hour. He needs to go 45. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're probably texting on their phone. And they got the radio blasting. They're totally distracted. 
that works. You name it. <laughs> can you see them in my in the camera? How close they are to me? I don't know if you can see them. They're ridiculous. Oh, and this is the first time the guy didn't give me a... Oh, they're finally making a left. Thank God. Good riddance. There are, the, for the first time in a long time, the guard did not give me a parking pass to be in here. Normally, every single person in here gets some kind of slip of paper. They didn't give me nothing. No piece of paper whatsoever. So that was a first. And uh, hopefully there's no gate. Gosh, that'd be terrible if he just forgot. Because, you know, that he was a new person. So maybe he did. Maybe he forgot to give me a slip of paper. God, that would tear. Then I'd have to drive all the way back. i have to get in line to come back in again. Man, that would be a nightmare. I'm making a right right here. And then an immediate left. So a right here. And then the next one here. I'm going to make a left. And the speed limit here is 15 miles an hour. Oh, look at this car. That car is not going 15. I'm sorry. That car that was coming towards me, they were easily going 25. Easily. You see how quickly they had to brake, too, when they saw me turning? They're like, oh, crap. <laughs> I'm like, that's right, if you were going 15 miles an hour, you wouldn't have to slam your brakes on. <laughs> oh, boy. It's going to be coming up on the right-hand side, uh, right at the juncture of the next side street. Their house is almost, almost, almost perpendicular? Yeah, perpendicular to the next side street. So let's see, is it this one? I think it's this house here. This particular little gym. Yep, this is it. Let's uh let's drop it. That's delivered. I don't know what the hell they were saying to me. They're like, um, they're like, uh, they got a gate there with a lock on it, and there's no door handle to it. I did was, I didn't even want to touch it. They had a doorbell there, and then the guy sends me a message saying, "Leave at the door is fine." <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm leaving it at the door. <laughs> I'm like. That's what your instruction said. Why are you reiterating what you just said? I guess you must have problems with other delivery drivers that don't follow the instructions and ring the doorbell. It's like, I'm not ringing the doorbell. I'm just leaving it here at the door. But then he made, he created doubt in my mind. <laughs> $7.06, 7 7.3 miles. No, he created doubt in my mind because I was thinking, is he telling me now to go past this gate and go to the actual physical door? Is that what he's trying to communicate now? Should I actually now try to jiggle this gate to see if it's locked and then proceed further into his courtyard? I'm like, no. <laughs> I was like, no. Because I'm not going to do that because number one, the door had, the, the gate had no handle on it. So that told me this person sincerely wants no strangers onto his property because there wasn't even a handle on that gate. It was just, a, it was just a, a lock. That's all it was, keeping that door closed. Number two, there was a doorbell by that lock gate. And that told me once again, this is, the, this is where he wants strangers who he doesn't know to, to stop at and proceed no further. <laughs> so just the fact, even though he said that message that just leave at the door, I said, no, I'm not passing this gate. I'm leaving it right here. Goodbye. <laughs> and that was the end of that. So the time is 12.57 p.m. The temperature is 64 degrees, 22 miles on the car and getting 53 miles to the gallon. 
and we're very, doing very good. There's only an hour left in the shift, and I don't know how much more money I need. I would assume I need probably about eight dollars is my guess. Um, I don't know if there's a way for me to calculate while I'm driving. I don't think so. There's just too many offers to read through. We've done several offers today. And one of the offers, they tip me higher than normal, so there's no real way for me to give you an accurate tally. I'm just going to guesstimate and just tell myself that the next offer has to be at least 8 well, it could be at least six fifty. it's fine. Just one more, whatever it is, I don't care. And it'll be close enough to $50, because we're almost out of time. It is, it is $12.58, so that means... If I get home, the odds that I'm going to get something else and be done by 2 o'clock is not very good. So that means the next offer that comes in, whatever it is, as long as it meets the minimum criteria, I'm going to have to accept it. And that's just the bottom line. <laughs> There's no ifs, ands, or buts. If I want to make something close to the $50 mark. This darn, this darn crown, it keeps jiggling. God, it's getting on my nerves. Oh look, this lady's crossing at the exact moment when I'm about to make a left turn. Hi, I hope you have a great day. Have a great day, lady. I'm trying to get one more ride in. One more delivery in. Take your time. Okay, we are out of Anthem Country Club. We're back to reality. Am I going to make this next light? I bet you I don't. I'll be willing to bet that I'm the, oh, wait a minute, it's, it's not changing. Okay, there's nobody here, that's why. There are no cars, that's why. All right, we're back on track, and we are rolling. I'm just letting, ready to let those offers come pouring in. Bring them, bring me money. Bring me my last delivery so I can wrap this day up and, and um, celeb um, celebrate that it was a successful day, a successful delivery day, one o'clock, it's perfectly one up, let's see what happens, normally right here in this particular spot nothing comes in, it's the moment I come shooting out of this community that the, that the offers start pouring in is the norm, so not yet, it'll be after this light after this light and then I got to do some twists and turns and then you're gonna see all these cars suddenly all backed up on the road and then you know I'm in civilization but right here I'm still I'm still outside of the area where all the good offers come in or any offers I should say I it's rare that I get an offer in this particular spot and yeah I got zero dollars right now on DoorDash so I've gotten no work from DoorDash. I think, I don't think there's any specials going on there. And I have a feeling the next offer that comes in is going to be from our friends at Uber Eats. So I'm going to keep Uber Eats in the foreground and put DoorDash in the background since that's what it seems like what's going to happen next. And my cat, my crown still feels like it's jiggling uh, every so often. So I keep. When I sense it started to jiggle, I stopped talking. I clench my teeth firmly like this. <laughs> and that allows the adhesion. It's like temporary adhesion. It's like a putty. And it holds the tooth back. $7.43. 7.2 miles. Welcome back to the delivery zone. <laughs> We're out of the Anthem Country Club zone. And back to reality. So I keep clenching, and then it tightens again, and then it, they said that the, the bond is really meant to be temporary, and that it only lasts for a few days, so, I mean, I figure by Wednesday I should be back in the dentist chair, and they will permanently put it back on, and is it going to be free for them to put it back on? Hell no, <laughs> they're going to charge me probably at least, I bet you they're going to charge me at least $75 to put it back on because uh, this particular crown uh, hasn't been glued or re-glued in a long time. $6.63, 9.9 miles, no. I think the last time this crown came loose 
they told me if it came loose again, they were going to cut into my gums. So that that way there would be more tooth for the crown to hold on to. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that one. I don't like the idea that they're gonna have to cut into my gums and expose more tooth. It's like they're it's like they're butchers. <laughs> it's like they're butchers, and I'm the I'm the piece of meat on the on the on the counter <laughs> that they're gonna carve like a turkey. But I guess whatever's gonna work, you gotta do it because. Without your teeth, you're screwed. I mean, how are you supposed to enjoy your food if you don't have teeth? How can you chew your food? Nine dollars and four cents, 10.8 miles, no. Yeah, I mean, I gotta eat all the things that are nutritionally good for me to the day I die, and that requires chewing. I mean, unless I puree everything, I put it in a blender and just drink it with a straw. But that sounds disgusting. Seven dollars sixty nine cents, six point one miles. No, no, I don't want to. I don't want to have to puree my food. That sounds horrible. And isn't I, that's not really good for your jaw? Eight dollars sixteen cents, six point nine miles. No, it's not good for your jaw to do that. You're actually your jaw, your jaw muscles, and the, therefore the jaw bone gets weak and fragile. If you don't masticate, you've got to masticate to get that um, benefit of having good bones in your jaw. Let's see if I get this one. I'm hitting the button. Let's see if I'm a match. It's trying to confirm if I'm a best match for this one. Then if I get it, I'll tell you about it. It's, it's, a good, it's good enough to complete the day. So let's see what happens. I got it. It says make a U-turn. All right, let me make this U-turn and I'll tell you about it. Yui. Back we go to where I was at just before. Yep, back to where I was before. Let me pause. Actually, let me end my dash. Door dash was totally dead today. Didn't get a darn thing. Open up my. All right, let me tell you, everybody. This is gonna be. This is gonna be the last one, and it's coming from Uber Eats. I'm gonna get seven dollars to go to Capriati Sandwich Shop. I'm gonna have to drive a total of two miles. All right, there you go. This is a good one, it's real short as far as the distance goes. But the um, the bad news, of course, is I gotta make a left turn at this light that takes forever. And it just changed, it just turned red. Oh, well, there's not much I can do about it. I'll just have to be patient. Just be patient and it will be, I'll be there before you know it. And this day will be over. It's too bad that this um, offer didn't come in earlier. I just went by this Capriot and I just literally just drove past it. Oh, well, nothing I can do about it. Just the, them's the brakes. The apps, the app gods will always determine your fate. You have no control over it. All you can do is decide whether or not you want to accept the Uber God's offer or decline it. You have no control over when the offer comes in at all. And uh, I'm tired. <laughs> and I'm tired. You know, I work every single day, seven days a week, unless I don't feel like it. <laughs> But for the most part, seven days a week I work. And it's not totally bad. I mean, if you really think about what I, what I do to do this kind of work, it's not really bad because if it's slow, I'm not really working. And if you look at my hours, my active hours that you see on the um, chart around me, you'll notice that for the most part, it's always like I work just like two hours, two and a half hours, three hours. So all in all, I'm really not working that much. For the most part, I'm either just in the car, headed back home, or I am at home watching TV, just babysitting the app, hitting the X button in Uber Eats, or pressing the decline button in DoorDash. And that's it, that's all I'm doing. There's not much else going on that is, uh, <laughs> That is hard work. 
so I don't know. I don't feel like this job overworks me. I don't really feel particularly stressed out. The one thing I find that is beneficial about this job, come on lady, learn how to ride a motorcycle, go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the light was green for I don't know how long before she finally decided to go. Uh, the one benefit about this job is that it keeps me away from the refrigerator. It is I call it the DoorDash diet. <laughs> the DoorDash diet involves keeping no food inside your car. Only water is allowed in the car. And therefore, you never have any calories that you're consuming while you're doing the job. You just got to make sure to stay hydrated. So it's a really good, it's a really good diet because they pay you money to lose weight. <laughs> Get paid to lose weight is door, should be DoorDash's slogan. I highly recommend they do that the next time they try to promote getting other people to join DoorDash. Put a big banner that says join join thousands of other people who are losing weight on the DoorDash diet. <laughs> Simply get in your car with no food and starve your way to a better body. <laughs> All right, where am I turning? It's coming up here on the right. I think it's right here. Yeah, it's right here. I'm gonna make a right. It's the first place here on the left. I think it's best to park over here next to, oh, should I park next to this big black truck? I guess so. It's safe. He's not double parked. All right, let's do it. Do they want me to go now? Oh boy, that's going to be a tricky turn. I don't think I can make that maneuver from here. I'm going to try. Oh, this car wants to go. Hurry up. Move your, move your behind. I need to back out. I'm going to be uh, making a right onto Eastern and then immediate left. And because this car slowed me up, I think I'm going to miss my opportunity to make the turn. Because they're, they were going so darn slow. Ooh, I'm just going to make it. Woo! I just made it. If they would have gone any slower, I would have been screwed. And I wouldn't have made it across the road. 0.8 miles. Three minute drive. Nice and simple. Leave that door. The gate code is, please... Don't knock or ring the doorbell. You got it. An easy one, and it's my last one. I'm pressing the button. Stop new requests, because I don't want any more work. I don't care if I'm, e even if I'm under $50, I don't care. <laughs> I'm done. In my mind, I'm done. I am, if I'm not at $50, I know I'm close enough. It doesn't matter. <laughs> It's all good. I just want to wrap this up. So the pickup went fine. I walked in. I told them the name of the customer. And it was ready. They just handed it to me. And out, out I went. And then I almost crashed into another customer that was walking in as I was walking out. But I jumped out of the way. <laughs> I hopped like a little bunny rabbit out of the way. I hopped the bitty hop. <laughs> and got out of there. And nothing exciting or interesting or memorable happened inside of Capriati's. It was a, a very standard pickup. Yeah. And real quick, which is, which is my favorite. The only thing that isn't quick is this light. This is, once again, a notorious light. Well known for being extremely long. <laughs> there are just some lights that, for whatever reason, they decided... The traffic controls, the city decided that certain lights just are going to take a long time and that's all there is to it. Like they don't, they're the, at the bottom of the totem pole for priority of when they turn uh, green. And it doesn't even matter, like there could be no cars here. Like it could just be just me just sitting here, right? And there's no cars coming in either direction. And this would still stay red. So it is, it is completely like on some type of um, timer. 
not on it's not weight controlled whatsoever which is really terrible <laughs> it's really unfair actually that they that this light is so low on priority because <laughs> I know for a fact that I've been here longer than all these cars that are making their left turn to my left these cars have been there nowhere near as long as I've been here waiting nowhere near but that's just the way it is. That's just this light. It's the it is the most evil light. Oh look, it's now my turn. Thank you. Oh thank you. <laughs> You're so kind. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> now we're rolling again. It's not gonna be much longer. We're almost there. And I've been to this neighborhood as well. You know, I've been doing this job for over five years now so I know my neighborhoods <laughs> I know this neighborhood that's for sure I know this neighborhood quite well and what is involved oh they did a, a news story about uh, DoorDash drivers and how the law the state of or no the city of Clark County requires all delivery drivers have a Clark County permit to deliver and the news, the, the news website interviewed the Clark County officials and they said out of the 70 something thousand delivery drivers in the city, only a little over 300 of those delivery drivers actually pay to have a permit. <laughs> only 300 a little over 300 out of 70 something thousand delivery drivers so all the majority of the of delivery drivers are are working without a, a city uh yeah a city permit to deliver <laughs> i thought that was kind of unbelievable all right i'm gonna make a up oh, this car came over the hill real quick real real quick and then these kids were so distracting it was like a leave it to beaver moment over here. It threw me off. I've entered the code. We're okay, folks. We're okay. Come on, gate. Open up. Open up, gate. It's going to be the very first house here on the right. I don't even know why I'm putting my seatbelt back on. It's his very first house on the right. Uh -huh. Oh, his garage is open too. Fantastic. Fantastic. And there's little kids and oh boy. Great. Good, how are you? Good. There you go. Thank you so much. Have, I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. That's dropped off. Take a photo. Skip. Yes, skip. Handed to customer. Delivered. Ooh, done with that one. All right, let me turn this car around. We'll be on our way out of here. Easy drop off, everyone. Easy drop off. It don't get no better than that, I say. That was what you call an excellent end of the day. A happy ending, you could call it, for everyone. So yeah, so for the um, delivery drivers, yeah, they don't have them. It's because the apps don't require they submit a, a city permit to deliver or even a state business license. None of that stuff. Only for, um, for uh, Uber, where you drive people around, and Lyft, do they require you to get a um, state business license. That they're strict about, but for delivery, a lot of shady business going on, a lot of a lot of lack of communication between uh, uh, corporate and the contractors. So, yep, crazy, huh? <laughs> I don't know the exact um, reason why all this has occurred. My guess is they just they just don't want to create any barriers of entry for the delivery drivers. They want to make sure that. They can hi easily hire as many delivery drivers as possible with as little regulation as possible. So uh, for whatever reason, the, s the city has not come down on um, the delivery apps requiring them 
to make the driver submit these documents. I don't know why. I'm sure eventually they will. I'm sure there's some type of legislation or communications that that are being worked out that in the long run it's inevitable they're going to do it. But for now, it's, it's like the Wild West over here. You don't need any, if you do delivery, you don't need any permits of any kind. It's just like, have a good time, start making money. You're hired. <laughs> so go figure. So anyway, that is it for today, folks. It was a good day. We're done. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again next time, okay? Bye for now.